love going down to the place we called the shore on the Magathy River. We had a little rowboat, a little runabout, and we could get out on the water and spend all day uh, visiting shores or uh, soft crabbing or shrimping or uh, fishing. I like to get up in the morning and go fishing. And then also began to look at uh, those plants that were growing out in the sandy uh, properties uh, uh, in Anne Arundel County. And uh, so I, that's where I probably I got my interest in native plants in particular. I think one of the first things that I recollect was um, rowing up into the end of the uh, Cattail Creek on the Magathy River and seeing cardinal flower for the first time. And this just gorgeous, gorgeous uh, burgundy red color growing in what everybody would call a swamp. And just an incredible striking uh, difference. Well, uh, I grew up in Baltimore, Maryland. It was largely a German neighborhood. Uh, and uh, there were no trees on, on the block. Uh, they were all brick houses, they were all attached. My dad worked for Western Electric, uh, where they made uh, telephone and telephone parts. He, uh, he liked the outdoors, he, he had been a duck hunter. Well, my mom uh, was a very, very sweet lady. She loved to sing. She uh, played piano and, and organ. She uh, said that she had actually played piano in the um, movie theaters, in silent movies. That was kind of interesting. Probably by the age of 12, I had designed my first garden. Moved up here to Michigan to become executive director of the Lyle Arboretum Society and uh, I worked uh, there until the Great Recession and uh, had to look for uh, other work and that's when I founded uh, Wildscapes uh, LLC. Oh! <laughs> this uh, is the uh, Plant Guide Canada Anemone uh, see here is white and that blooms early in the season. Let's see if I can find Queen of the Prairie. Q, Q, Q. Uh, Jeannie is quite a, uh, a very good uh, gardener and uh, very interested in plants. Uh, so she and, and her husband Brent wanted to uh, they wanted to do something different with the shoreline. They had been working on it for about a year. The, the, a large part of it had Phragmites on it throughout the area. And so it tends to drive out uh, all other plants. It's not particularly interesting to, uh, uh, to birds and uh, other animals to feed on it or something like that. So they had started to um, uh, kill off the Phragmites. To, stabilize that shoreline. The uh, wonderful thing about that is, is that uh, both Jeannie and Brent are, are very uh, strong because the rest of the, of the community may not be quite as excited about the native shoreline uh, as they are because everybody else, as you can imagine, has their lawn going right down to the, to the shoreline. They mow it right down to the shoreline. Uh, even when the water gets high, they're trying to figure out some way how to mow over their lawn. Well, uh, this is a joint project between me, Wildscapes LLC, and Outdoor Landscape Supply. I did the design, I did the uh, permit application from DEQ, uh, I did the plant selection material, uh, and Outdoor Landscape is doing the installation. This is a shoreline restoration on Indian Lake. And uh, John and Craig here from Outdoor Landscape moved them all out of the way 
and then they will be putting those back. Core logs, there's a double, double row. This one's on top and the back. Uh, here are the stakes, uh, both the lower level and the upper level are staked in place. Woody plants or uh, steeple bush have a nice uh, spike of white flowers and has, has uh, really filled in quite nicely over the years. And if, it, if at all possible, to, if you can have a tree and limb it up so that people can still uh, see the, the lake, which is what everybody, uh, why everybody has their property on the lake, uh, you can get a good uh, root system that really will hold the soil in place against uh, erosion. We provided something that flowers here in the early spring, June, July, August, into September with the New England asters and then something that even provides uh, colorful berries through the winter. Good morning, how are you two today? I'm fine. What's that? Oh, yeah, that'd be great for morning glories. Uh, pieces like that, that's rusted patina, and then uh, done with a clear seal. I have pieces with no concept. <laughs> well, maybe you'd like to take my welding class. <laughs> well, I started in the Army, uh, so in, during Vietnam. Yes, so, yes, yeah. I had six years in uh, biomed. Fixing hospital equipment. Oh, okay. Well, I was uh, I was a civilian at the uh, Boston Naval Yard, and then oh, okay. and then at the uh, Philadelphia Navy Yard. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> I'll check out your check out your class and yeah, we'll see. yeah. Your name? Dave McCoy. Dave McCoy. George Wise. Dave. Common uh, herbicide uh, used for uh, essentially killing off all vegetation, whether or not it's grass or broadleaf weeds. And uh, there are different formulations for it. And this one is formulated to be used either actually on plants in water or actually next to the water so as not to kill off other organisms in it. Fairly large property, probably about uh, 60 acres with a stream running through it and a pond. He had already done a grassland, uh, kind of pheasants forever grassland in one section. <clears throat> and he was interested in uh, reducing the amount of runoff from the uh, hillside into the pond. My Uncle George always planted spring tulips and uh, in their hyacinths and usually uh, zinnias and marigolds for the summer. Red-tailed hawk out there. <laughs> 